I'd like to do what's become customary in Australia and begin by thanking the traditional custodians of the land for our presence here. And by the traditional custodians of the land in the north of Sweden, I'm meaning the Sami people, who over generations have been there. Um, are there any Sami here? Yes! yes? Because uh, a few of us who were not Sami had the idea of teaching others to sing a Sami song. <laughs> Would that be all right? Yay! Yay, okay. So I'll, I'll call on Penny. If Penny comes forward and does this, this comes out of the time from my talk, by the way. I learned this from a Norwegian friend of mine, and it's a Sami song from slightly further across. So um, I'll sing it you once through, and then I'll call and response, and we, we can sing it together if people uh, would enjoy that. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. And we have to be looking at making conscious decisions around consumerism. We know about our taxes, those of us who pay taxes. Oh, sorry, those of you who pay taxes. <laughs> um, <laughs> war tax resistance has been a very, very valuable method of organizing in local communities around the place. Something that relates very much directly to your own life, to our own lives. There are just many dimensions. Uh, Anna mentioned the militarization of minds and the militarization of culture. And all these things are going on that are around us all the time. And somehow, part of the process of stopping war is suggesting ways that people can act on these things, can somehow relate what seem very, very distant events to what is happening in, to the, in their own lives, in their own schools, in their own homes, in their own shops, in their own uh, indus industries, in their own towns, somehow relating that. And this is a challenge for every peace group, and it's fundamental. The war starts here, it starts here with meat, but it also starts wherever we happen to live because 
War is something that is prepared for and mobilizes the whole, as much of the society as it can. And so that's the first point I want to make about the local. We've always, for years now, people have been saying, act, uh, think globally, act locally. And so the message is very, very well, very obviously stated. But we also need to be looking further afield, which is why, as part of this mutual support network of anti-militarist, anti-war groups, why people have come here from quite far away. Um, there are some people, War Resisters International decided to have its annual seminar and council here, which has brought people from Africa and Latin America. Um, but within Europe, people have come as far south as Spain, which is a, uh, a sitting at the back. We have quite a good group of, of Spanish people who've come. Uh, maybe not the ones I would have chosen. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, but they're great people. Um, so, and this is part of a, a mutual support network. And the reason is quite simple, because the preparations for war are international. Going on with Spain. In, on the, in, two, in February 2003, like everywhere else, Spain had the massive demonstrations against the Iraq war. The government, the Partido Popular government, took Spain into that war. That government was voted out, and the new government honored its promise to withdraw the troops. <coughs> but it didn't end its cooperation with the war in Iraq. Spain, as a member of NATO, does everything that is applied, obligatory for a member of NATO. It supplies bases. It collaborated with the rendition program. It has been a full member of this, of the war against terror. It is very key now. We see it in Afghanistan. But with the withdrawal of troops from Iraq, what we were seeing was a maneuver that meant that Spanish people were not going to be killed in Iraq, but the, Sp but, but, but the Spanish involvement in NATO meant there was a continued complicity in the war in Iraq. And this is what we all have to understand. We look at our own community, but we also have to see that war as this, multi the multinational facets of war, when co corporations, from di corporations from different country begin cooperating with each other to manufacture weapon systems, the main benefit of this cooperation is that that system is more difficult to cancel. Because it isn't just us in Spain, in Britain, in Germany, in Sweden, wherever we are. It's, we're part of a corporation and it can carry on. And so, when we say war starts here, we're saying something about activity in our own areas, but also we're saying we here are part of an international, uh, of international circles of support who see that the multinational facets of war can only be challenged by a global consciousness. And I think this event will be a great contribution to that. Thank you.